All right, that's how the numbers look like. Well, a lot to expect even as trading continues on the stock market. Actually, it has just wrapped up to be, let me pardon you on that. Well, let's start off with matters to do with petroleum. And in a bid to tame fuel prices, the Ministry of Petroleum is angling to establish a petroleum consolidated fund to stabilize petrol and diesel prices at the pump. Petroleum CS John Munez confirmed this during a Senate committee session where he addressed senators on the government's plan to place a lead on the cost of fuel, which has skyrocketed in the last few months. The CS also told the committee that the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority will no longer oversight over the liquefied petroleum gas business. This will technically mean that Kenyans will pay more for cooking gas as the sector will be led by market forces. Our very own brand, George Otieno, is following these proceedings and will be giving us a detailed report in our subsequent broadcasts. Well, moving on to other matters touching on farming, and uh, we now want to bring you an update in regards to this. And uh, farmers and workers in Africa are set to meet for the seventh edition of the Africa Fair Trade Convention to discuss ways to improve trade amidst COVID-19 pandemic. Themed producers leading the future of trade, the convention will be held virtually from the 22nd to the 25th of June with the objective to discuss improvement of value chains, trade relations and conditions which translate to sustainable livelihoods for farmers and workers in Africa. The convention will culminate on the, in the second edition of the Fair Angoma Awards that recognizes outstanding farmers and workers. Agriculture used to be the backbone of the African economies, actually most of the African economies. But uh, that was in the early 60s, uh, going towards the, the 70s. But as we move towards the late 80s, things started changing. Uh, we no longer could see a lot of the investment and commitments that were coming from the government into growing up this uh, sector that had a lot of potential for growth. We come in to address the plight of these African farmers who go through a lot of struggles in terms of the sustainability of their farming businesses. Uh, you know, they live under a lot of uh, poverty that is so prevalent in most of the African uh, countries. As much as we are saying 60% of the farmers in Africa are small-scale farmers, you realize these small-scale farmers are, are not properly facilitated to be able to you know, sustain their businesses and manage their businesses in a way that can bring in a good return on investment. All right, we'll be keeping an eye on that convention happening here.